In this year's game, it is crucial to perform fast cycles to maximize points. One consideration is going over the barrier, especially when your robot is being blocked. A tank can be a good design because it seems like it can very easily cross the barrier, while a regular drivetrain would have a lot of trouble doing so. We wanted to see how a tank would do in game, so we bought a Go Build a Tank Kit. As intended, the tank was able to easily cross the barrier. However, we found that the speed of the tank was about half of our initial design, and it was far too slow to be used in matches. We wanted to custom build the tank drivetrain to see if we could speed up the robot. However, we didn't know much about custom building tank drivetrains, as we had never done it before. We bought a tank toy which was completely made out of wooden pieces. We were thinking of 3D printing or CNCing a tank similar to that one. However, we found that it was inconsistent and the treads often fell off. In order to make a good tank drivetrain, we'd have to secure the treads to the pulleys and make sure it is always tight. This requires a lot of customization work and would be very difficult to pull off correctly. Overall, while tanks can cross the barriers, they are unreliable and slow, which we decided outweighed the advantages of crossing the barrier. We decided not to implement a tank design. Our solution were bumper wheels. They normally aren't touching the ground, but when the robot hits the barrier, the bumper wheels lift the robot higher so it's easier for the bottom of the drive wheels to push the robot over. This solution implements elements of the tank trudge and allows the robot to cross the barrier while avoiding the disadvantages of tank designs. Thanks for watching. Ubu Owo Ubu.